Hello guys, how are you doing? Hello Mario. Hi David. How are you man, all good? Hello. Yeah, all good. Nice man, nice to hear that. Hello. How was your day man? It was good. I had a good? What do you play. do? I, I only played maybe. More play than work. <laughs> More play than work? All right. That's good, man. Did you did you finish Arkham Arkham uh, Knight? Almost, almost. I'm collecting all the Rid Riddler trophies. Yeah, come on, man. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm a I'm a completion completionist. Sometimes you're a completionist. Okay, all right. That's sometimes. Cool. That's good. I, That's good. I'm almost done. So the worst part is over. <laughs> Are you gonna get your PS4, your PS5? Mm, maybe in a year or two. Maybe in a year maybe. or two. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm in a rush. <laughs> All right, sounds good, man. Irenia, how are you doing, Irenia? Hi, I'm doing fine. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How was your day? What do you do? In the morning, I worked as always from Monday to Friday, and in the afternoon, I went to buy food. And before uh, joining joining the class, I was making pupusas. Nice. Okay, pupusas. That's good. Yeah. That's good, right? Hey, sí, Caterina. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. How are you, Caterina? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? I have the day off, so I was like resting <laughs> and doing some errands. Doing some errands. Okay, errands. Okay, doing some errands. Okay, good job. Good job. I'm glad to have you here. What about you, Daniel? How was your day? Hello, Davis. I'm fine, thank you. I've been working all day. You've been working all of, day? A lot of meeting, so I had to to make a what a report after the class, the English class. Oh, okay, all right. That's good, man. That's good. What about I'm you, happy. Kath? I'm glad that you're happy, man. What about you, Catherine? How was Concentrics today? <laughs> it was pretty good, pretty relaxed. Pretty, I think that pretty relaxing, not relaxed. Pretty relaxing. Okay, pretty relaxing. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, my whole day has been um, pretty nice. I think that more days like this ones are going are going to come. Um, today I crafted a box. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> so you like you like for... handcrafting. Yeah, this is going to be for my boyfriend's gift. Nice. So I'm hard working for this. <laughs> All right. So, okay, uh, that's good. That's good. That's very cute, okay? Keep it up. Keep it up, Catherine. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, how was your day, Kevin? Why are you laughing, Kevin? Are you the boyfriend? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, up, my, day, my day is great today. And I was loving God. <laughs> I don't believe in love, it's just that. You know, <laughs> that's so sad, man. Tanya, how are you, Tanya? How was your day? Hello, good evening, everybody. Well, I think that my day was pretty good. And not just that. All right, all right, you're, you're, you're a little bit close, right? Uh, closed, so uh, good job, good job, good job, all right? I'm glad that you're okay. Uh, Roxana, how are you, Roxana? When are you going to do us your face reveal? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hello. I, I will reveal my face soon. I promise. <laughs> all right. That's good. That's good. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm glad. How was your day, Roxana? All good? Uh, yeah. Uh, I have been a little sick, but... but You've been a little sick? Uh, yes. All right. But good. I'm here. For All, right. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Glad to have you here. Uh, Fatima, how are you, Fatima? Cameras, guys. Remember Jose, Fatima, cameras. Okay. How are you, Fatima? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm good, good, good. Did you do anything fun today? Well, actually, I was playing with my cousin, so. Oh, okay. All right, what were you playing? Video games or were you like? Yeah, video games, but... Well, I'm not good at video games. All right, so it's okay, it's okay. 
I understand, all right? All right, if you have a camera, please turn it on, all right? Uh, okay. Diana, how are you, Diana? All good? Hello, yes, I'm good. Thank you. All right, all good, 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 good. Did you do anything fun today? Yes, I played with my with my kitty cat. <laughs> you played with your played with your kitty cat. That's that's yeah. nice. That's nice. What's your kitty cat's name? Kitty cat's name. Its name is Kiki. Kiki. Yeah. Like Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the song. Right? Like the song, <laughs> yeah. All right. This uh, is fun because my cat's name is also Kiki. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's nice. Right. <laughs> that's so awesome. you both like you both like what's 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 this singer's name? I don't um, know. What's this singer? Drake. Name? Drake. Yeah, Drake? like yeah. Drake, right? Oh yeah, he's, he's really handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Francisco. I don't know. <laughs> you look like Drake, Francisco. Hi, right. Francisco. Uh, how are you, man? All good. Hey, I'm good, man. Thank you very much. How are you? I am good, man. Thanks for coming early. You're always early, very responsible. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, man. All right, guys. So thank you, everyone, for coming here. All right. Um, Martin. Hey, Martin. Who is Martin? <laughs> the hell is Martin? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Missing in action, man. Missing in action is like okay. I'm I'm late two weeks, go three weeks. Hello, Martin. <laughs> Hello, Martin. How are you, Martin? Okay, right. He left. Must have been someone. Not All right, guys. So let's continue. Thank you guys for being here. Let's jump into exercise 4.5, guys. All right, the listening exercise. All right. So today, guys. Our goal is to finish section number four, and we have time to finish it, so let's go, okay? So 4.5, guys, uh, get together, and let's answer these questions. Help me read the instructions. Uh, Roxana, help me read the instructions. Okay, uh, go over the information, then listen to the quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? Write your answers, just the name of the occupation. All right, remember guys, hey, your sound sounds, your your voice sounds different, Roxana. All right. I'm sick. <laughs> oh, you're sick, that's right, okay, right. Yeah, Remember yeah. intonation, go over the information. All right, everyone repeat, go over the information. Go over the information. Go over the information. And listen to the quiz show. Listen and to listen the quiz, to the quiz show. show. Can you guess the occupations? Can you the occupations? Occupations? Write short answers, just the name of the occupation. Write right. short answers, answer. just the, the name, name of the occupation. occupation. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so that is exactly what we are going to do right now. Five minutes, then we come back. Let's go. Hello, Elena. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Let me go to Fine. the platform. Okay. Um, we have to listen the quiz. Hmm. My internet is a little slow. <laughs> okay. And I am four dot five waiting wait ah, i get it okay it's a listening exercise Good guys. Hello. Are you Hello. Good? are you good guys? Yes. Yes, we're listening. All right. Yes. Ciao. Can you guess the occupations? <laughs> One. Uh, blank. 
who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes, gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank who is used when an original screenplay needs more work. No, location scout is okay. Así tenemos que escribir location scout. I guess. No Spanish, no Spanish, Daniel. <laughs> Sorry. I'm watching. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> I'm here, man. Got you, man. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Keep it up. Hey, David. What happened? Are you the man who is on the cover of the barber shops? This, like. Uh... <laughs> no, man. <laughs> you, you know, you're right. You know, I'm right. Mustache, mustache. No, man. I'm yeah, not. the mustache, right? I've gone That's there. The it's good, man. It's good, man. Here in, in, in Plaza Soyapango. Man. Plaza Soyapango. Plaza Mundo. Plaza Mundo, sorry. <laughs> that would uh, be great, but uh, no, man, I'm not. All right, I'm keep it trying up, to human, but I just had three hair. Oh, yeah, man. I think they got some sort of cream that you can get, so it helps you or something like that. Yes, it's, it's um, some like a cream, right? Yeah, I think there's something like that, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's do it. I was looking for, for the, the class, yesterday class on, the, on YouTube. I didn't find. Uh -huh. I was looking for the, the yesterday class you know, on uh -huh. YouTube and I didn't find it. An original screenplay needs more work makes jokes funnier and dialogues more realistic yeah okay nice <laughs> people who hey. work with this uh, yeah. kind of person work with this <laughs> with, with doctor mm -hmm. for me for for me the the new world is prop designer oh the, the, the prop uh -huh. the, the, uh, the prop it is like all the things you you use to 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 decorate uh -huh, like exactly. in 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 the photos you have the 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 bubbles or some mm -hmm. it's uh -huh. it's so Hi, David. who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic up, the, the object of the Character use. Yes, we finish. All right. Sounds yes. Good. We're going to go back now. Okay. Okay, guys. So, all right. So, let's answer these questions, right? Easy peasy, right? All right. Eric, yeah. let's go. Uh, number one, Eric. Number one, let me see. Uh, a location scout who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes, gets to travel all over the world. Okay, so a location scout. A location yes. scout. Like this, location scout. Like this, guys, a location scout. Location scout. Only location right, scout. Okay, right, don't, don't, don't say a, a scout, guys. Just everyone, location scout. Location, location scout. Location scout. Good job, right? Number two. Um, hey. What is it? I right, pick someone. Um, pick someone. Paredes. Um, Ekaterina. Ekaterina. Let's go, Ekaterina. Okay. Uh, casting director is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. So, it's, so the answer is like that. Is someone who chooses guys? Chooses. 
Chooses. Chooses. Chooses. Good job. Who chooses? Uh huh. No, but the answer is only the, the profession. What is the answer? Casting, di casting director. Casting. casting director, okay. But, but chooses in zapatos. No. No. No, that's shoe. All right, all right. All right, casting director. Number three. Number three is prop designer. What? What designer? Prop, de prop, prop designer. designer. A prop, okay. Prop designer. Prop Do you know what a prop designer, prop designer is? I barely Number know. Three. I can provide you an explanation, but I, it's not like a big explanation. I don't all know right. if you want me to do it. Yes, all right. Please, please do. Explain. Well, uh, tell us what, what, do you, what is it? Here in El Salvador and all, all over the world, there is something called cosplay. And what, this is the thing that people use or some custom um, customers in order to uh, use like uh, like uh, movie characters and so on so the accessories and all the things that they use are called props exactly so, guys. so it's like thank you very much applause for Catherine guys good job Catherine okay so a prop you. guys a prop is basically what you see on the movies when you see a dinosaur for example if, it, if it's not CGI it's a prop a prop is something fake. Got it? Cars can be prop. Whatever can, like whatever your, your imagination comes with is, can be a prop, guys. Okay? So, good job. Uh, Catherine, pick someone. Fatima mm. Campos. Fatima. Let's go, Fatima. Um, a screenwriter is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Good job, good job. Plus for Fatima, guys. Fatima, pick someone else, Fatima. Pick someone with a beautiful, uh, beautiful kidneys. <laughs> All right, beautiful kidneys. <laughs> I don't know what is that. What are kidneys, Tania? guys? Tania, good job. What are kidneys, Tania? Riñones. Riñones, right? Beautiful. Do you have beautiful kidneys, Tania? I think that they are healthy, at least. All right. <laughs> not too much, not too much tequila, right? <laughs> All right number let's... five. Number five, Tanya. Is a dialect coach. The what? Dialect coach. Dialect. A dialect coach. Coach. All right. Sounds good. All right. Number six. Give me a number six too, Tanya. Francisco. Okay, right, Francisco, let's go. Okay, uh, number six is a, a script doctor who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, make jokes funnier and dialogue more realistic. Okay, a script doctor. Script doctor. All right, all right. Script doctor. All right, sounds good, okay. Good job, applause for you guys. Good job, very well done, okay. Hey, what's wrong here? Screenwriter. It's, uh, it's together. Space. It's together. It's together, no separate. Thank you, teachers. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, so guys, so uh, let's work on the presentation now. Uh, guys, by the way, uh, videos from this week are going to be uploaded today, so you can have access to them in uh, one hour, okay? Uh, help me read the instructions. Uh, let's see. Um, who has not participated? Uh, Moises. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn and understand defining and non-defining relative clauses. All right, good job, man, good job. Let's work on the intonation, though, because that is a thick accent, but good job, man, good pronunciation, okay? All right, yes, guys, so we're going to work on uh, defining and non-defining relative clauses, okay? So go to uh, 4.7, all right? Let me pull up my presentation. There we go. So, yes, guys, defining and non-defining relative clauses. Oh, guys, do you remember what a relative clause is? Relative clause? Nobody? No. Any teacher? All right, we're gonna see that right now. 
Uh, help me read. Uh, volunteer, guys, whoever wants to read. Kevin. Help me read, Kevin. You can turn on your camera, Kevin. Okay. Defining a non defining relative clause. Mm -hmm. Clauses. Repeat, guys. Clauses. 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 Tommy. Continue, continue, continue. Okay, I think he has issues with his... All right, you have issues with your connection, man. All right. Mario, let's go, Mario. The final relative losses are used to identify people. Okay, good Adele. job. Good job. They are used for what? I'm sorry, Mario. They are used for for what? To identify people. Okay, everybody. They're used for what? Identify people. To identify people. All right. Help me read the first example. Continue, Mario. A dialect coach is a language specialist. Okay, all right, and continue over here. A dialect coach is a language specialist who that works with actors on their accents. Exactly, guys. Now, do you remember what relative clauses are, guys? Who can identify the relative clause here? Who? A good job. Who and that and that and that, and that. guys. Okay, guys. Para que no se olviden, guys, que es una relative clause, recuerden, es called relative por la palabra um, relativo, right? Relativo a algo o a alguien, right? Solo acuérdense okay. eso, algo o alguien, right? Who, that, what else? What other type of relative clauses do we have, guys? Which. Which. Uh -huh. What else? Who. When. Okay, right. So the, all of those are clauses. So far, so good? Yeah, man. All right, sounds good, okay? All right, so now, what is, um, so this is actually the one for to identify people. What about the second one? Who can help me, who wants to help me read the second one? Non-defining relative clauses mm -hmm. give further information about people. Good job, okay, so the first one, guys, the first one is? To identify. Defining. Defining, mm -hmm. good identify. job, all right? Mm -hmm. And now this one is? Non -defining. Non -defining. Okay, we're gonna see we're gonna see uh, why they're called defining and not defining. Okay, um, pick someone else, um, Francisco. Pick someone. Uh, let me see, uh, Daniel Aquino. Daniel Aquino. Hello, Daniel. Yes. From the cream. Help me read. No. Yes, yes, yes. Help me no. read the first. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location a scout finds places to shoot. To shoot a scene. He travels all over the world. Okay. All right. He travels all over the world. Okay. Repeat, guys. A location scout. A location, a location scout, 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 scout. Who finds places to shoot scenes. Travels all over the world. All over the world. All over the world. All right, guys. So now focus, focus on this. Over the world. Focus on these two, okay? I want you to tell me, guys. First of all, what is the meaning of defining, guys? Mario, what is defining? Something that identifies. Okay, something, something that identifies someone or something. Good job, man. That was a good explanation, right? So now, guys, can you find can you find the difference between these two? Can you find the difference between the first example and the second example? Why is non-defining? ¿Qué es lo que no está definiendo, guys? Let's see. People. Okay, good job. Okay, all right. So uh, if I say a location scout, un scout de, de locación, all right? Uh, who finds places to shoot since travels all, all over the world. Estoy definiendo, guys. Uh, exactly. What am, I, what am I describing? Places. Good job. Okay, I'm describing places. On the first example, guys, in the first example, what am I, what am I trying to uh, describe in the first example? People. Okay, people. Good job, good job, good job. Okay. 
All right, we're going to see some examples, guys. All right, so the, t the two type of relative clauses that we saw, um, defining, not defining. Uh, help me read, uh, Elena, help me read. Okay, uh, defining relative clauses, the information in the clause is necessary. It's okay, so th so the first one, the information in the clause is necessary. So guys, can we use a clause without information? No. No. All right, when you use when, guys, when you use when, when you use which, right, you always need to um, to add information, right? Good job, uh, which, right? All right, uh, second one, Eric Paredes, let me help me read the second one. Okay, second. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. Okay, good job, guys. So it helped us, write it down, guys, write it down, write it down, okay? It helped us help us uh, talk about uh, or describe the pers a, a person, okay? So it helped us recognize who we are talking about. It helped us recognize? Who are we talking who about? Are we we talking are about talking about. Who no, we are, no, talking, no, about. are talking about, okay? Good job. So far, so good? Yes. yes. All right, all right. Sounds good. All right, so help me read the, the first example. Eric Paredes, pick someone else. Elena Mata. Elena Mata, let's go. Okay, the actor who was started in, started in that movie is very talented. Okay, defining, good job. Applause, guys. Applause for, applause for Mata, guys. All right, uh, Elena. So, guys, is this a defining or not defining clause right now in this example, guys? Define non-defining. Non -defining. Mm, okay, guys. Defining. 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 Good job, defining. guys. Let me let me give you a tip. A non-defining clause will always, well, will most of the time, guys. Okay, will most of the time contain commas. They will contain commas. Commas, commas. commas guys. Okay, All right. So that's on the exercises, guys. This is how you can identify them. Okay. All right, because um in this case guys we're describing who are we describing here guys the actor the actor. The actor okay the actor. what can we say about the actor he's very talented he's very talented okay so we're referring to the actor who is very talented got it yes got it, got it. okay good job all right hold on guys all right all right all right all right, so let's take a look at the non-defining relative clauses, okay? So what do we use the non-defining uh, relative clauses for? Um, pick someone. Um, Francisco, pick someone who has not participated. Oh, what the hell? Francisco. Yes, sir. Pick someone who has not participated, please. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy, hello, Wendy. Nice to see you again. Hi. <laughs> hello, Wendy. Turn hello. on your camera. <laughs> hello. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Hey, uh, can you help me read the examples, please? What, uh, like the, what is, uh, what do we use non-defining relative clauses for? Okay. The information isn't necessary. Necessary. Uh, oh, it necessary. Is necessary. Good job. It huh? is extra information that is added. Added to the sentence. Okay, it is extra information that is added to the sentence. Okay, guys. So in this case, guys, we're not describing exactly the person. We're adding information. We are adding information. Adding information. Adding information. All right, guys. Entonces esto es y le quieres agregar al chambre, okay? All right. So <laughs> te dijeron, te dijeron, mira, fíjate que vi a Luis con su amiga. Vos venís y vos le contás a otra persona que viste a Luis con, con su otra novia, ¿eh? besando, right? Le agregas cosas, right? So that's, all right, that's not exactly uh, the, the right example, guys. But you get the idea, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the first example. Um, Catherine, pick someone. Pick someone who likes, pick someone who has a beautiful, uh, Francisco, give me, give me the name of another internal organ. Uh, heart? Uh, not a heart, man. That's so common. <laughs> um, liver? Liver. Okay, I right. pick someone with a beautiful liver, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Erenia. Erenia. Let's go, Erenia. <laughs> you have a beautiful liver? I think so. <laughs> All right, good job. <laughs> Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. Okay, pronunciation, guys. Repeat. Starred. Star. 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 All right, Star. Tom Cruise, who's starting that movie, is very talented. Repeat, guys. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Cruise. Star. 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 That, that movie is very talented. Very talented. Is very talented. Very talented. Okay. All right, guys. Don't. So now, all right, bien eso, guys. Let, let me let me help you. This is the exact example that I wanted to get. At. Now, let me ask you something. What is the information that does not need to be in here? It. Who is starring the movie? Exactly, guys. A eso me refiero. Esta información que ven aquí es innecesaria. Podría yo decir, could I say, guys, Tom Cruise is very talented? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes guys. Okay. All right. Por eso so this llama, is non-defining. This is non-defining, okay? Porque no la necesitas en la oración. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que ven aquí, guys? What is the difference that you see to identify? You see? The comma. You see the commas, commas okay, commas. right. Commas. All right, now let's go back. Let's go back, okay? We're gonna go Who back. Is Don Cruz? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's Don Cruz? <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at the. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> so let's, so let's take a look at the first example, guys, a defining clause. Puedo yo decir the actor and then not use this who starred in that movie? Uh, no. No, no, no. All right, exactly, no. right? So this is actually, you need the information, but in this case, guys, on the second one, you don't need it, okay? You can say Tom Cruise is very talented, all right? All right, so let's let's talk about examples, guys, okay? La, everybody, send me an example of a defining clause in the chat room right now as I ask each of you, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's your favorite color, Daniel? Blue. All right, blue. Mario, you got a blue t-shirt and blue eyes, man. <laughs> I will say it's gray, right. but close enough. All right, give me, give me, give me a defining relative plus example. Okay. Um, the chef. All right, who hold on, hold baked on. a beautiful one cake. One second, guys. Pronunciation: chef. Repeat. Chef. Chef. All right. I know, I know, yes. Mario, yeah. you, 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 you write it down like this, chef, but the pronunciation is because it's a, it's a, it's a word that comes from uh, French origin, okay? French. The pronunciation is okay. chef, okay? Chef. All right, so the chef. Okay. The chef mm -hmm. who baked a beautiful cake. Okay. Is on vacation. Okay, a uh, beautiful cake is on vacation, is, I'm sorry, is on vacation all right good job that is a perfect example all right defining or non-defining guys it's defining non-defining uh, defining. Defining. absolutely defining all right Ooh. okay absolutely defining remember it doesn't have any commas and it's describing um it's describing the chef okay all right uh continue sending me your examples in the chat room guys i'm waiting for your examples okay i only have moises right now Messi, who scored a goal in that match. All right, that is incomplete, Moises, but good job, but that is incomplete, okay? Keep sending me your examples, okay? Uh, yes, I, I sent, yes, okay. All right, Mario, uh, pick someone else, Mario. Okay, um, let's go with... Um, Eric Paredes. Eric, all right, give me another example, Mr. Eric Paredes. Let me see. Um, the doctor who worked on that hospital is on vacation now. Okay, good job. Worked on that hospital, guys, or in that or at that? In or or at? What is it? At. At, guys, okay. What at. is it, Eric? At work okay. at, at that <laughs> hospital. It's on vacation now. All right, no, don't use it's on vacation. Use another example. Okay. Um, it's a good professional. Okay, it's a good 
professional. Professional with one S or two guys. Professional. I think it's like that, right? It's a good. It's a good professional. Good job. That was a good example. Applause for Eric, guys. Good job, Eric. Good job, Eric. Pick someone. Um, what's your favorite color, Eric? Favorite color is black. Black. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, Francisco, you have a yes, black sir. heart, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, you're, are, you, are you a metalhead? Are you a metalhead? No, you know man. Metalhead is no. Me no. Metalero, metalhead. Like, yeah, I know. No. Oh, you're not okay, right? All right, don't worry. No. Uh, give me another example. Okay, the girl who passed in front of me is beautiful. Okay, the girl who passed in front of me is beautiful. Okay. Good job. Is this a defining clause? Yes. 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 All right. Good yes. job. Yes, guys. It is a defining clause. Okay. All right. Now let's check your examples on the chat room. Guys, let me ask you something. Can you see the chat room on my screen? Can you see it? No. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. But please zoom, zooming out, zooming a little bit. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Can you see it right now? Pueden ver el, el chat room. Yes. 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 All right. All right. Let's take a look at the examples. Moises, this is incomplete. Okay. Roxana, the manager who works at Torre Futuro is famous. Good job, Roxana. The dress she wore, which is red, is already in the trash can. She hated it. This is a beautiful example, but not. Is is it a defining or not defining clause, guys? Non defining. Non defining. That is a beautiful, beautiful example, Catherine. But that's non defining. I want defining clause, Serena. But good job, Catherine. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, the nurse who takes care of my mom is very patient. All right, good job. Uh, Elena Mata, who the girl who is very good. All right, we're, we're having a mistake here, guys. All right, let's, let's correct this, okay? Let's see over here. Who can tell me, guys, what's the mistake that we have here? I think it's... Tell me, guys, tell me. There is a mistake here. Coma. Okay, first of all, all right, we're, this is this is a non-defining clause, okay? All right, we're missing the comma. The girl who is a very good student, where where do we have the, the next comma, guys? After a student. After a student, okay? All right, now, there is something else missing here. There is a mistake, guys. Very common mistake. See? What? She? No, no, it's not she. She likes to read. No, 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 no. Lots of books. Uh, uh, Mario, come on, Mario, Mr. Grammar. <laughs> I think a lot is, is uh, one word, no? Who is a very good student, likes to read a lot of books. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, guys. Lo siento, lo siento, lo siento. En el ejemplo, ella escribió, who is very good student. Le faltó la A, all right? The article mm. A, all right? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> That would have been oh, easy to know that's that. why we don't see the, <laughs> the exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, but yeah, she the, she wrote it down like this. I'm sorry, I gave you the answer. All right, not cool. All right, but that's it. Okay, now defining or not defining, guys? Non defining. Non defining. Non -defining right? If it contains a comma, guys, it's non defining. Okay. So I need you. Um, I needed to send me another example right now. Okay. Because I need to know that you understood. Oh my defining God. or non defining? Right now, only defining, guys. Only defining. Okay, Elena, give me an example with a defining clause, okay? All right. Uh, Francisco, the girl who passed in front of me is. All right. Now, Francisco, you have one mistake too. Yeah, I know, man, but I, I corrected already. Okay. I told you, it is, it's, it is beautiful. It is not, it is beautiful. Okay, good job, good job. The girl who mm -hmm. was crying now is smiling. Okay, good job, Katharina. My friend who I met at, at the school is very intelligent. Guys, at school or at the school? Or at in school? school. At school. At school. Guys, at what is the school. difference? What is the difference between at school and in school? At school, you know in which place the, 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 the person is? Exactly. Guys, when I say at school, guys, you actually are referring to a physical, physical place. When you see when you say in school, it could be any school. It's general. Got it? Oh, I'm in school. I'm, I'm, uh, I was studying in high school. Pero bueno, sabes cuál high school. 
when you say I'm at high school, it means que vos estás en el lugar um, that you're in the real place. For example, I'm in high school. All right? Eso significa, guys, que yo estoy estudiando en bachillerato, right? Pero si yo te digo, I'm at high school, significa que yo estoy en ese lugar. En la primera, vos no estás en ese lugar. Estás hablando de la carrera, de, de, de tu estudio, right? En la segunda, uh, in, on the second preposition, you're actually talking about that place, okay? All right, just, just a quick tip, okay? Uh, let's see. The carpenter who made the big table is sick. Good. My friend who, all right, uh, Fatima, that's, that's uh, not defined. My friend whom I met at school is very intelligent, okay? It should be whom, not who. Um, but good job. The engineer who designed the building is working at Avanza right now. Good job. The dog who beat her is not that bad. Good job. Tanya, he, he's the teacher who teach, he's the teacher who teaches, who teach me, guys? Who taught me. Okay, who taught me, if you're talking in the past, in the past right? Who taught me? All right. Uh, uh, so, Tanya, let's correct that. Moises Messi, who scored a goal in the match, is amazing. Guys, is, it, is this defining or non defining? Non-defining. Non defining guys, right? Remember, commas are non defining Non defining All right, Wendy, the singer who wrote Paradise song. What's wrong here, guys? What's, what's wrong with this sentence, guys? Who can help mm -hmm. me, right? Mario? The singer who wrote the song, Paradise. Okay, the singer who wrote Paradise song, who wrote... What are we the missing song. here? Okay, the song, this, okay, the song Paradise. All right, good job, man. Good job. Applause for Mario, guys. Good job. That was the only mistake. Okay? Was Gwyneth Paltrow. All right, there is another mistake here. Possessives. The possessive. Yeah. Okay, good job. All right, Paltrow's uh, husband. Okay. Other than that, the structure is very good. All right, guys. <clears throat> uh, Wendy Moises, the song that is playing at the in the at the radio, guys. Yesterday, I told you guys. Remember, when you're on talking about electronics, good job. On the radio. Preposition is on the radio, okay? Uh, the boy that was yelling is running. The boy who smashed the apple is running. Uh, good job. They correct the sentence. He's the teacher who taught. Okay, all right. Good job. Plus for all of you guys. Woo-hoo. Clear, guys. Is this clear as water? Yeah. Define it. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Now, do me a favor. Send me an example with non-defining right now, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you the example meanwhile, all right? Uh, Mario, pick some up, man. All right, your cursor is over Diana, so Diana is the lucky winner. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, Diana, all right, you're the lucky winner. Hold on, hold okay. on, hold on. All right, so Diana, all right, uh, give me your example now. Non defining, guys, send me examples with non defining, okay? So make it fun, mm -hmm. make it fun, right? Talk about, I don't know, Cheyenne. I, know, I like that. Cheyenne, name. okay, yes. Cheyenne, who is really handsome, uh -huh. is going to <laughs> is going to present the show. All right, guys. How, okay, Mario or perform. Francisco. Francisco, how do you perform? Say, uh, perform okay, he's going to perform, perform a show. Good job. A plus for Diana and Mario, guys. Good job. Right, uh, Diana, pick someone else. Uh, okay, Ekaterina. Mm. Ekaterina, let's go, Ekaterina. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Alicia. Alicia. Coma. I love that name. Uh -huh. Who was chasing a white rabbit? Coma. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, uh, enter, coma, rabbit. Yes. Enter in a dream. Okay. Enter in, guys. You don't need a preposition. Enter a dream. A dream. Okay, a dream. Okay. No preposition after enter. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job. Applause for Katarina, guys. Good job. I like that example. All right. Uh, Katarina, pick someone who is working at Concentrix and it looks like she's 12 years old. Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, let's go. No, why? Well, uh, I already sent my example to the chat, but go. my 
my pen my uh the one my pen no 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 my pen my pen right my pen <laughs> my pen which has a unicorn at the top has no ink anymore okay which has a unicorn at the top at the top or on the top guys on the top on the top, on the top. okay on the top uh-huh has no ink anymore has no ink anymore okay all right guys good job good job okay now guys uh we're talking about people but this is a good example okay it's just that we're talking about people but good example good example okay all right um uh, okay so guys let me ask you something so you digo who is really handsome is this necessary information no no guys okay no es necesario okay so, Cheyenne is going to perform a show, okay? O sea, literalmente, no necesitaba decirme que era... Si yo te pregunto, right? Hey, mira, ¿y qué onda? Cheyenne va a venir a Salvador. Sí, fíjate que Cheyenne va a, dar, va a dar un show. No te estoy preguntando, mira, Cheyenne es guapo y va a dar un show, right? Vos le agregaste esa información porque vos querías agregarle, right? Cheyenne, que, quien es bien guapo, va a dar un show, right? Ese quien es bien guapo es totalmente necesario, guys. I didn't need to know that, right? Alicia, right? Alicia. Uh, is it necessary for me to say that she was chasing a, a white rabbit? No, right? It's added information. Alicia entered the dream. My pen, vos me querés decir, la idea es que vos me querés decir que mi, 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 mi lapicero no tiene, no tiene tinta ya, all right? Entonces, no es necesario que me digas the added information. Got it? Got it, got it? Yeah. Got it. All right, really? Okay, let's go, let's go. Vamos a ver. All right, so let's review all of your answers right now. Hold on, hold your horses. Mm -hmm. Relax the muffin. Relax the muffin. Hey guys, by the way, it's a phrase that exists in English, right? That's just <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right. But it sounds fun. It sounds fun, okay? All right, vamos a ver. Uh, Mario, Gordon Ramsay. Hey, very good. You, you watched Gordon Ramsay, man. I, I like it too. Uh, Gordon Ramsay, who cooked a magnificent lobster, is mostly very patient. Good job. My pen, the one with the unit. Okay, you, that was your example. Tanya, non-defined. My boss, who created a new process for the system. You guys, for, uh, spelling of system? The why. System. Why. Like this, guys. Why? This and why, right? You spelled it with, a, with an I. All right. Oh, my God. I can't. Okay. Like, uh, sys, system. Okay, that's how you spell it, right? Good job. Uh, uh, Daniel, the doctor who worked the last night is a good person. Uh, there's something wrong here, guys. Daniel, there's something wrong here, guys. Help me with this. Last night. It's, it's, it's missing a comma. What is it? I'm sorry. It's I'm it's no, no, no. It's, it is uh, not necessary to write that. Exactly. Okay, so it says, it says the doctor who worked... Last mm -hmm. night, okay? Last okay, night. When you say last ah. night, next week, last week, okay, you don't use, you do not use yeah. that, yeah, except in very few uh, okay, um, scenarios, okay? The doctor okay. who worked last night is a good person, okay? All right. Okay, Elena, okay. the kid who was sitting next to me was annoying. Good job. Elena, Sofia, who likes to play a lot, is eating to, is eating to play? No. Um, uh, it was on mistake. It's Mark. eating now. I write it. Uh, okay, right. Down. Mark Ruffalo, the character of Hulk in the in Avengers, is handsome. Okay. Uh, Maria. <laughs> Maria, who studied math, is very intelligent. <laughs> um, and now here would be in the Avengers, not in well in Avengers. Okay. Because uh, if you're referring to the movies, right, to the movie itself, not the Avengers, the the team. Keanu Reeves, who starred John Wick. John Wick Saga is a very inter interesting man. I agree with that. Sophia, who likes to play a lot, is eating now. All right. Mark Ruffalo. Who, all right, all right. Uh, Jose Sar Saramago. Oh my God, I, I don't know who that is. Who was born in Portugal, wrote the duplicated man. Okay. The mango that is on the table is mine. Who's <laughs> <laughs> mango? It's true. Right, it's true. Talking, it's true. Talking, we're talking about people. ¿A quién le estás diciendo mango? A Daniel le dicen. Just kidding, man. Chong. 
<laughs> Stephen King, who wrote Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery, I right, would see, not with us, guys. He's a dog lover. The doctor who worked last night is a good person. Good job, guys. Applause for you, guys. Woohoo! All right. Me llega a ver, guys, cuando ya nadie se equivoca, right? Good job, guys. That's very good. All right, questions right now, guys. Any questions? <coughs> ¿Alguna pregunta, guys? Any questions? No. Do you have coronavirus? Do I have coronavirus? No, I don't. I have it now. No, it's ground virus. <laughs> ground virus, yes. All right, guys. So uh, last thing that I wanted to show you guys, the use of commas, okay? But we already saw that. Okay, guys. So if you know, oh, my God, it's so late already. Oh, my God. Uh, let's work yeah. on the exercise, guys. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's, I thought it was like 840, but it's 850, guys. So let's work on the exercise. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's finish next week. Yeah, classes are kind of kind of slow, right? Like they, we have no, usually, it, it I mean, was, not slow. Fun, we, should, we should have more time. That's what I mean. We should have a little bit yeah, more you, time. We should. All right. But that's okay, guys. All right, guys. So, uh, I'm lost. Uh, you finished the listening, all right? So, we're doing okay. exercise 4.8, okay? Let's go. Let's finish that, and then that's it, okay? 4.8. Oh, hold on. Ah, no se me todavía. Hold on. All right, let's go now. Ah, uh, it's gonna. Uh, yeah, all right. Hold on. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, let's wait for everybody to come back. I think there was an error on the breakout rooms, guys. Okay, so let's wait for everybody. Okay. So you got five minutes for this, and then we do the the reading uh, exercise, and that's it. All right. So are we all here? I think. Okay. Yes. Right. All right. I think so. Yes. All right. I think. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> You're muted. Oh. Francisco. Sorry, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I was I was speaking. On the platform. Me also, but yeah. I uh, left uh, Zoom and go to platform. Is um, where we must only add the the extra information, I think. Yes, yes, I think so. Okay, number one. Okay. Uh, foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries. I think it's a foreign correspondent, comma, who writes about events in other, in other countries, comma, travels all over the world. I do agree with you. I think that's 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 the correct answer. So uh, we have to to write all all the the sentences or just the parent parentheses. I think that's so. I think we must write the the whole sentences, okay. adding the the extra information where it should be. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, a foreign. Correspondent. A foreign corres corres correspondent. Yes, a foreign correspondent, comma, who travel, who writes about right. events in other countries, comma, travels all over the world. Sure. In all countries travel. Travel. You can also copy and paste. Ah, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I'm writing. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Next. Next. Okay. Uh, Catherine, you can do the second one? Yes, sure. A web page designer 
um, who is a graphic artist, coma, needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Yeah, I think it's... So it should be, the, the sentence should be after designer, and obviously you have a coma, and after that, a coma before needs, right? Yeah. Wait a minute, please, please, please. Uh, sure, sure. I have a, a web page designer, coma. Yes, yes, coma. Uh -huh. Needs, no, who? No. Then you add the extra information, who is a graphic artist. Okay, let me try to copy paste. Yes. <laughs> it's an easier way. <laughs> okay. Y after artists, another comma, verdad? To the, the comma, it's easy to, to know them. what is yeah. the defining or not defining. Yeah, it's easy to, to tell. So I have to be very careful with everything outside my house. Yes. Hi, David. We finished. Hello. Nice, right? Everybody is still finishing, so give me one second. Okay. So nice to meet you. And then I think uh, the first comma. Where? Where I have to be? I read a sentence and all you tell me where. Event. Event. In. Country. What's going on, guys? All right, guys. So real quick. So we're done with uh, section four, pretty much. All right, let's go ahead uh, and do the answers, guys, real quick. I'm going to show them to you. Guys, who did not finish? Me. All right, Kevin, who else, guys? Did, did anybody finish? Yes, we finished with All right. Fatima. All right. Uh, Katerina, what is the answer for number one? Okay, it's a foreign correspondent, comma, who writes about events in other countries, comma, travels all over the world. Okay, good job. Pronunciation, guys, foreign. Foreign. All right, you don't foreign. pronounce the G, okay, all right. So, uh, good job. I'm going to get the answer soon. Number two, that is actually correct. Okay, number two, uh, Mario. No. I'm sorry. Uh, unmute yourself. Yeah, I was. All right. I was done. Okay. Um, a web page designer, comma, who is a graphic artist, comma, needs sophisticated computer knowledge. That is absolutely correct too. All right. Uh, pick someone else. All right. Let's go. Um, Tanya. Tanya. Let's go, Tanya. Number three. Uh -huh. An editorial page editor who is a daily newspaper columnist gives opinions about current issues good job guys good job a plus for all of you guys good job good job all right so the answers guys are here all right um really good really good job really good job uh mario okay so if you had any issues guys okay just take a screenshot and submit your answers okay there okay. should be all fine all right guys so now it's time already guys so do my favor uh now that you have the answers here that for some reason they're not working. Okay, what happened to this one? The commas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A page designer. No, there's something no. wrong here. Uh, it's missing the clause. Exactly. Wait, what, what? Should be, hold on. If this is the answer, I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys, so uh thank you very much now with this exercise guys the reading exercise do me a favor just complete it all right uh you're not gonna do anything else just read it guys okay read it home el único que van a hacer guys automáticamente cuando ustedes vengan acá guys all right and you go to next 
it should show it as complete, okay? Let's see. Hold on. Let me go back. So what you're going to do, guys, is that you're going to answer and you're going to write down your answer on the on the comments, okay? In the comment section, which is down below here. It's uh, for completion. It's not necessary for you to do it, but do it, guys. Do it because I am going to check these. So I need you to... Um, I need you to follow the instructions, right? All right, so you read the instructions, okay? What you have to do, and on the discussion box, you're gonna put in, you're gonna type in your answer, got it? Yes. All right, do it to learn, guys, because esto, si lo escriben o no, no lo califica, solo le das next y te lo califica, pero obviamente es para que ustedes aprendan, okay? El lunes, guys, okay. we're gonna start on Monday with section number five, all right? Lunes, martes, miércoles, bien importante. Uh, jueves va a ser el final exam, all right? So be early, guys, porque vamos a, voy a comenzar bien temprano. Or like, okay. I'm not going to be introducing ourselves too long, okay? Thank you very okay, much, guys. You. You've been great. Thank you very much for coming. You have a great evening. All right, good night. Okay, bye. Good night. Okay, thanks. Good night. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Bye, good night.